The check valve location should be for all 4L60E transmissions. If you remove the valve body while the transmission is still on the vehicle, you don't risk dropping any of the check valves from this side of the separator plate. But I have it upside down on a transmission stand and when I remove the valve body, the check balls are either on the separator plate or they fell down. There's seven check balls on this side of the valve body. The check balls sit on a spot that looks like a wrench head. This is the most obvious one. There's another one right here, another one right here, a fourth one right here, and a fifth one right here. And this part right here contains two check balls. Over time, the check balls can wear into the separator plate, even become wedged in it. Especially this one, which helps control the 2-4 band apply during a 1-2 upshift. To eliminate this problem, you can replace the metal check balls with imidized plastic check balls. On the case side of the separator plate, there's three check balls. One is next to the 3-4 accumulator. It helps control the 2-4 band release during a 4-3 downshift. This one is a risk of falling off when you remove the separator plate. The other two check balls are encapsulated. This one helps control the feel of the low and reverse clutch apply. The other check ball is located inside of this bore. It helps exhaust fluid from the third accumulator. The final check ball is located at the tip of the input shaft. It helps with TCC apply. And that's it, 11 check balls. Going back to the first seven check balls, this one controls the 2-4 band apply during a 1-2 upshift. This one helps control the 3-2 downshift. These two feed into the overrunning clutch. This one cushions the reverse input clutch apply. This one helps control the 2-4 band apply during a 3-2 downshift. And this one helps control the forward clutch apply when the engine speed is at idle. Have a good day.